I highly doubt that, but well. The man came to her to an agitated pacey. Lana Lett gives off an air of restrained chaos. She waves you over with a few quick motions. You don't mind if I talk and work, do you? What can I do for you? Hmm. The work here. Not the coziest place for it, is it? But the open air, the lightning specifically, is a boom. Let's our mages have a rest now and then. Good test hmm. of the equipment hmm. too. We're working on making it less delicate. Our junior researchers are still a little soft. So, what precisely are you working on here? Glad you ask, Amika. Very glad. Oh boy. We are very excited about the work here, and we are always looking for volunteers. Sounds horrible. We've catalogued a number of interesting properties unique to Luminous Adra, but there are some very specific qualities we are investigating. <laughs> qualities that a watcher happens to be uniquely suited to exploring. You're just what we're missing. Is it dangerous? No, no. Well, yes, what is it? But not exceptionally dangerous. Yeah, why would you start off going like no, no? Luminous yeah, Adra has it. special effects upon Keith. Even to the humblest, it offers some small improvements. Rejuvenation, vitality, uh -huh, uh -huh. the kind of thing you sell to people back home, ne? But what about those who have already harnessed their own essence? Consider the talented cut purse, for instance, who can cross a room by slipping briefly into another place. Oh boy. The world between. Luminous Adra holds enormous quantities of essence. The kind of energy we can't replicate or restore. And these formations have a kind of I connection to do. each other across the in-between. I'm pretty sure we were uh, pulled along the in-between uh, some two times or so. I believe we can harness this connection and your natural abilities to transport a person across great distances in a moment. Oh yeah, theory is actually sound. I used the honor to wreck someone before. Oh, good. You've done some experimenting on your own. A curious mind is a happy mind, I say. Can't mope about ghosts all day. We've collected mm. a number of illuminating readings, and our machines are ready to harness the Adra's essence. But for the moment, we are effectively blind when it comes to targeting the next pillar. Now, uh -huh. if someone were capable of sensing that essence in the in-between, even of manipulating it, someone <laughs> like a watcher, for instance. Oh, you want to use my connection to the Adra? I could target a specific pillar. Precisely right. We've had luck with shorter jumps, but those were as much spellcraft as science. The idea is for you to focus on the next connection point. The machine will use that new link between the Adra veins to create a tether, as well as provide the energy for you to jump effectively. So where will I land? What's really exciting is, so long as you are holding that connection open, your companions can jump I have some doubts, some really, really heavy doubts, groping about or right about now. they could hold things down here, make sure it's safe for you to come back. <laughs> hey there. The next <laughs> pillar is due east of here, in the middle of a farm. It's not as tall as this one, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Oh, and don't worry, we paid the farmers. And what if something goes wrong? There was that fellow that jumped a little too far over the edge. Stop scaring our assistant. <sighs> all right, all right, Gladly. let's do this. Very well. You stand there, Ansel, the machine. Well then. All right, watcher. Remember, focus on the beam of light. It ought to be like stepping through a door. And remember, don't... Don't what? Close your eyes, hold your breath. Get thrown somewhere else completely. Well, no. are you rich? say this is what I imagined hell would look like. Yeah, I think most people wouldn't. Were you? Yeah, I kind of don't feel the need to touch that either. Surprisingly enough, that is. Let's go. Uh -huh. You will not. Okay, that was a lot easier than I had anticipated. Auntie, this place also doesn't like me intruding on it. Oh, 
for obvious reasons. Where the fuck are we? Run where? We have to go. Can't. Can't. No, no, please. Oh, a few more dead people. We're probably gonna get eaten. I guess dying here sounds like a very bad time. Ooh, very bad time indeed. Is he dead? <sighs> Not gonna get any information out of that one. Strings of unnatural architecture have been torn from the roots, and he's still in the void. Hmm, I found something. Soul essence or something. More of it. I don't know what I'm picking up, but uh, well, I'll take it. Three. Looks like trouble. It does look like trouble, doesn't it? And a giant soul collector. Oh, look, here's a little lantern. Isn't that fitting? Okay, let's deal with the small ones first. Like, could you stop being a fucking idiot? Even just for a second. Oh, it will do the job. It will take a while, it will do the job though. Summon a new one. Good old fashioned healing, and you know, things should be going rather splendidly well. Although, that soul collector is a bit of a tough bitch, I'll give him that much. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but we are going to beat him, most definitively. How did we manage to push that thing back that much? How may I, help? I have some serious questions. Leave it. The beast. Hmm. Extreme modes of energy. Three into water vortices in an unending I... march. Of winter. A wall formed from tessellating blocks of bismuth rises before you. From out of that wall, just a face at least three of our high. Mars hangs open in a silent shout. It's a light. A damp, frigid wind screams between the rocks. There is whispers in its wake, chills you to your core. What have we here? Oh god, it's you, asshole, again. A wayward watcher has wandered into my realm. Whatever should I do with you? <laughs> How about nothing? You did not receive an invitation to my realm, Herald of Barath. Tell me, why should I not grind your soul to dust? British or Barath would not appreciate that I one. do not fear Barath's wrath. Embrace oblivion with open arms, Watcher. The chill wind you first felt when you entered this place picks up from a deepening cacophony. A rag so loud and sharp it might tear the very bones from your skin. Or shred your soul to cook potatoes. Wait. Rag goes out into the void, slowly the wind dies to cool the bait. Do you fear dissolution after all? How droll. Not really fearing that one. As much as it would delight me to scatter your soul, you belong to Barath. I will spare you that fate, for now. Let me tell you it like it is. After I'm done with Veosas, I'm coming back for you, Delicious. bitch. Delicious. You need only whisper my name, and I will open a portal to my realm. I cannot wait 
to see what you try. Oh, don't worry, I will not stop at trying. I will quite literally grind your fucking face into dust. Now, asshole. On to the matter that brought you here. Oh yeah, Animancer. Your Animancer friends meddle in things beyond their comprehension. Well, they do. They always Were do. Were I not the generous creature I am, you would have died. Hmm, that's all. Be sure to tell the Animancers that they have failed. And that they have drawn my gaze. I will not hesitate to obliterate them if they irritate me again. Uh -huh. I do not make requests. You might prepare oh. yourself, Watcher, for something wondrous is on the horizon. And I'll show you the glorious sword to your face. <laughs> will usher in an age glorious in its brevity. So what precisely does that mean? Stop speaking in riddles, you asshole. You will soon learn. In the meantime, ah, enjoy the world as you know it while you can. And do send my regards to your Animansa friends. Would be bad about my friends. Watcher, I was wondering if I could run something by you. Mm -hmm. What's on your mind, Shooty? Well, to put it simply, you are. I know I'm good looking, but I didn't know that much. I've tried, but I can't get you out of my thoughts and dreams. So, what does that mean? Forgive my audacity. I know I've got no place to, but I care for you more than I can rightly say. Nice. I was wondering if you might return the sentiment. Day, so you enter the dinner deal. I thought I was too at first, but somewhere along the way, well, I realized he wasn't the one making my heart stutter. I don't look up to him like I do you. Nice, we can start a nice little relationship. But he can sure we? doesn't make me sweat like you do. Mm, nice. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, let, let's go for this. Pretty sure I have not made this, and uh, this is pretty much the last place you want to, you know, do a nice little confession scene. In front of fucking Rimgard was like, I'm the fucking winter cold. Are you sure you're not just, you know, feeding the grasp of death on you and feel the need to, you know, get things off your chest? Sure, sure. You have. I know you have. Yes, yes, see? It's just that the truth is, I was afraid to want you. I didn't think the Watcher herself could be interested in uh, me. Don't worry, the Watcher has a broad horizon and uh, takes everything they can. <laughs> when you think about it, how powerful you are compared to me, it Let's doesn't hardly make any sense, does it? Even more. It's totally not going to backfire on you, don't worry. I'm almost afraid to believe it, that you would want me just as much and fierce. Who knows, maybe you just don't know the Watcher. Maybe the watcher was a closet puppet all along. Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. But darned if it doesn't make me so very. I would still point out that the place is amazing. Rimgard is just sitting there in his little stone sitting and be like, Are you people serious right now? Didn't they just make all the, the unbelievable ominous sounding prophecies about your near future? What are you doing with your life, people? <laughs> uh, Yes, yes. Your mind, shorty, and no one else has. <laughs> You're right about that. Yes. When you touch me like this, even through my clothes, I can feel it. Did my watcher just get to touch some fits? That's yes, she did. Yes, heart, she Watcher, absolutely did. If you'd only let me. <laughs> nice. Very nice. But other parts of you feel just as hot, or hotter even. Bet I'd like to find out. Hmm, why don't we continue this discussion somewhere more private? Watcher, I thought you might never ask. <laughs> There's so much I've longed to try and to see. Or to not see. Let me turn my lantern low. I want nothing but shadows between us. God damn it, give me some light. I want to see the show. That was divine. Surely, Watcher, you are a blessing okay, from God. Okay, this gets even... Just, just try to imagine the scene, okay? So now that we have decided this, we just, you know, look around this nice little realm and in between, look for a nice dark corner and um, have some snacky time just to 
basically fuck with the gods. <laughs> this is so basic. Jody, I will tell you one thing. Uh, you have just risen in the long list of companions, I hope. Yeah, yeah there might be one of the favorites, but you're just, uh, what you say, for solid second place there <laughs> with your timing. <laughs> nice. Was not, uh, I did not see that one coming, admittedly. Therefore, take the opportunity. Watcher, can you hear me? Sure, I can. Oh, thank the gods. Thank Helia. Merla, you had us in a panic. I don't have to tell you it didn't work. The current spiked and you went completely still, breathing but nothing else. We sent for the physician. Hmm. Myself, I was about to try throwing some water in your face. Hmm, that's so. What happened? Did you feel any pain? Do you remember anything? Well, uh, put it mildly, Rembrandt sends his regards. You had some kind of vision? A near-death experience? No, oh, no, no. I mean, I literally went to the beyond and spoke to Rembrandt. And then I had some smexy times with Shorty, but, uh, you know. What all was it like? Uh, pretty damn cold. Pretty damn weird. Nonetheless, why do you poke me with your copper rod? Slap the rod away. Are you feeling any heightened aggression? I'm feeling like anybody else would if they get randomly poked with a copper rod. I feel the distinct need to punch you in the face. Let's not harass our very patient friend any further. Yep, nice of you. Sienteri, watcher, truly. It seems we sent your mind further afield than intended, you don't and without say. the rest of you in tow. Not entirely outside our predictions, but not the result we wanted. Yeah, no shit. We have stipend for volunteers. You're welcome to the sum of it. I hope it goes some way toward earning your forgiveness. Not if your stipend is just 400 coppers. In that case, yeah, forgiveness in uh, reasonable rates of payment, please. Like that every month, and we can maybe talk about this in a few years' time. Just as I hope this hasn't put you off helping us, we just have to adjust the current, give you a chance to control your flight, for uh, want of a better word. You really don't learn your lesson, do you? We're all very glad you're oh, in one piece. We'll have a look at the machines, figure out what went wrong. Until then, I'm sure our friends at headquarters will want an update, and to see I haven't done you any permanent harm. Mm -hmm. We'll send word when we're ready here. 